What's up everybody, it's Pykel with League of Items, and in this video we're going to go over the LEC and the LCS. Uh, you might hear some screaming during this video because there is UFC on that I'll be watching shortly. Um, but let's get through uh, some of yesterday's action pretty quick. Uh, so overall it was a really good day. Um, we started off in the LPL, if you want to see uh, the eSports Center segment I did, I think it was pretty good, uh, it was pretty funny. Um, EDG against Thundertalk, uh, we picked EDG and won. Top Esports against Ultra Prime, we picked Top Esports, we won. LNG against uh, Rare Adam, we picked LNG, we won. Uh, in the LEC, uh, well, actually, and then in the LCK, we had um, Nongshim over LSB, that won. And KT Rolster as an underdog against uh, Kwangdong Freaks, we won that. Uh, in the LEC, we had XL up against BDS, we picked BDS and won. Rogue against Misfits, we won. Mad over SK, we lost. That game was actually insane. It went it went on forever. There was like 50-something kills in that game. You should definitely go check that one out. Uh, G2 against Astralis, G2 won, and we won. Vitality lost to Fnatic, and we lost. And then in the LCS, we went 5-0. and We had Team Liquid over Dignitas, uh, CLG over Immortals because Wild Turtle's bad, um, EG over Team Liquid because Evil Geniuses are good, Dig over Immortals, because yes, Wild Turtle is bad, and EG over CLG, uh, because EG are the future. Um, they looked they looked pretty good today. I think that the only thing I'm afraid of is I'm getting overhyped. But they are evil, we are evil. Uh, everyone's evil. Um, let me get the scoreboards. So the rogue match, I mean, this. Th I think as the day went on, um, we talked about this a couple times in Discord. The Jinx versus Jin or Ophelios versus Jin. I think everybody's kind of seeing the same thing that I'm seeing with uh, the Jinx Ophelios side just being heavily favored. So we got a win there. BDS against XL, uh, they lost that one. Finn played the beginning of the matchup pretty good, but ultimately I think. BDS was just too much for them. Uh, low, low scoring game. It was actually relatively close. There was a one or two big team fights in the late game that BDS just mechanically outplayed. And <clears throat> they also had like good movement around the map to cut off uh, XL, who was overextended. This is the this is the insane game. SK against Mad Lions. Uh, 55 minute game, 29 to 24. Uh, Mad Lions had a lead in the beginning, threw it threw it away, and then SK took that and threw it right back to Mad Lions. Um, again, you should definitely check out that video or the or that match or the highlights of the match because it was a good match to watch. Um, Broken Blade on Graves again. Pretty easy win for G2. Um, another relatively close, close game from the kill score perspective. Astralis was up kills, I think, throughout the game. And then there was one team fight that G2 just kind of finished everything off. Uh, Vitality against Fnatic. Um, this... I get what Vitality was trying to do. They took uh, Twisted Fate away from Fnatic, but I'd rather just ban it, let play, let Perks play something more influential, because in this situation you have a Renekton that's getting outscaled, Kiana who's potentially getting outscaled, and Perks who's going to get outscaled. Yes, you still have the Jinx, but just a, it's a tough, tough way to play the game, in my opinion. Um, tomorrow in the LEC... We have Vitality. They should get their first win against XL, hopefully. I mean, obviously, I'm on Vitality there. Misfits Misfits against BDS. Hmm. I'm tempted to go with BDS again. Hmm. They're both gin teams, so I don't really care. I If they could both lose, that'd be great. Uh, Rogue against Astralis. That's going to be a rogue bet. 
Fnatic against SK. That's going to be a Fnatic bet. I know SK just played well against Mad Lions, but you know, I'm not I'm not betting on that upset. And then Mad against G2. Um, I'm going to be on G2 there. I think that G2 has looked pretty good in their game so far. Um, Armut against Broken Blade, that should be a good matchup. Yonkos against El Yoya, that should be fine. I think that El Yoya is probably a little better than Yonkos at this point, but stylistically, I think it will allow it to come down to the draft instead of it just being, like, outskilled. Caps didn't have a good game. Some people were talking about Caps <laughs> being bad in Discord. I obviously disagree, but that's fine. Uh, and then we had Seraphine Pike against... Uh, Ophelios Thresh. So maybe that's something that they play into Jinx and, and Ophelios so they have that prepared. I don't. I, I wonder if they would play that against the Jin. The, the Jin was banned, so they didn't have to worry about that. Um, I mean, that's, that's basically it for the LEC. And then let's go to the LCS. A lot of these games just aren't fun to watch because the talent discrepancy is kind of huge. Let me just get the scoreboards. Uh, so dig against TL. TL won that one super easy game. 25 minutes. I think that's pretty clear how much of a stomp that was. CLG against Immortal. Same thing. I mean, Wild Turtle is just not a good player. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Um... I'll, you can, if, if this whole narrative about Immortals having, like, you know, experienced players and, you know, they're pretty strong and all that kind of stuff keeps going, just keep betting against them, I think, and you'll make, uh, you'll make a return. EG against Team Liquid. Buivo died a lot in the early game. Um, Team Liquid held on pretty tight, and they actually did look like they were going to win the game at one point, but Evil Geniuses made some really good plays. Uh, they weren't perfect by any means. Impact had a couple of really bad plays. But Jojo Pion and Danny looked good, and it was making me think about like international soccer because a lot of teams have like super good young score, super good young goal scorers, and then like a like a wily veteran presence around them. Uh, like defenders, it's more important to to be like experienced and to understand game situations. There are young players who are able to do that, but it's more important for the defense to understand that the goalkeeper to understand that if you have a striker or like a winger who has no idea how to like play team soccer but is good at putting the ball in the net that's all that really matters um i think that jojo pion and danny that's all they have to be just be be the damage have good mechanics let the rest of the team decide everything else because vulcan had good engages inspired had good engages and disengages um and impact looked shaky but at the end of the day, he's still a reliable player, and this was just a one bad performance from Impact. There were a couple of spots where he like probably should have flashed forward for an ultimate, and like he was getting out of the fight and just kind of looked really sloppy. Um, but then at the end of the game as well, if you want to watch the end of the game, Jojo Pyun, they were they were all standing around Dragon for the Elder Dragon. Jojo Pyun's like, hold my beer, I'm gonna go in the game. So he teleports into the mid lane, tries to end the game. Um, Team Liquid gets Elder Dragon. They get, a, they get one or two recalls off. They end up fighting in the base. It's a huge team fight. You should check it out. A lot of fun to watch. Um, but the evil geniuses are going to be good. Worst case scenario is they're high, like highly competitive in the playoffs and end up losing. But if you, if you have that kind of storyline for most teams, you'd be happy with it. And for a team like Evil Geniuses with three very young players, Inspired's only 19, Jojo Pion 17, Danny's 17 or 18, uh, this team is young, but they should have aspirations of winning right now. Like, they shouldn't think to themselves, we can lose. It should be like, we need to win to prove to everybody that we are going to be good for a long time. Because um, I think that's the case. Um, and then we had Dig against Immortals. This was a game where Fake God looked pretty bad. He had a couple really bad Malphite ultimates. Um, or just, like, didn't even use them sometimes. Uh, but they had, like, the long-range trio of Zoe, Kate, and Lux, which was pretty good. Uh, that game was relatively close. Dignitas won a couple of big team fights that cemented the win, but as you can see, it's only a 2,000 goal difference at the end of the game that it shows how close it was. And the last game of the day, 
was CLG against Evil Geniuses. And this was funny because before the game started, Mark Z was talking about how they're two young teams. They both have an eye to the future. These, these will be two of the better te- These will uh, like maybe be two of the better teams somewhere, someplace down the road. Evil Geniuses has the three youngest players in this match. And they have like five out of the ten. They have, they have, they have the five most talented players out of these ten players. So like I posted on Twitter, when will CLG have a realistic window of opportunity with this lineup as constructed like these these players might be league average players at best but i just don't think we're going to see them take that next step and become great players like they've been around the scene for so long it's unlikely that like the circumstances are the things that are holding them back like maybe luger can be good maybe poom can be good because they're they're even younger than the rest of the players on the team but i don't think we have any true difference makers on this team like if you threw Jenkins onto a team with four other really good players maybe they could be competitive but he's not necessarily going to be the difference um that's that's like a sad but true reality I think so let's talk about tomorrow's games and get out of here so first up we have 100 Thieves against FlyQuest are you going to play FlyQuest against 100 Thieves I don't think so. Team Liquid against CLG. Are you going to play CLG against Team Liquid? I don't think so. Cloud9 and TSM Academy. Uh, you're going to play Cloud9, and you're you're probably going to win. Evil Geniuses against Immortals. I mean, if, if Evil Geniuses loses to Immortals, I'm going to have some big problems with people making fun of me, uh, so I hope that doesn't happen. And then FlyQuest against Golden Guardians. FlyQuest look pretty bad. Um... They lost to TSM Academy. And that's another spot where it's like, if, if you're a professional team and you're losing to an academy team, what does your future look like? It's just not, not great Bob. FlyQuest against Golden Guardians. Do Golden Guardians have any shot? No, I think I'll just take FlyQuest there. That's basically it. So, you know, ch- uh, check in tomorrow. May- I might do another Esports Center video. Um... Got some good feedback from it, so, you know, thanks for watching that one. And if you haven't, go check it out. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, like I said, I want to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the season, so if you can help me out with that, like, comment, subscribe, retweet, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.